Hello kitty cats. Um, another reading of another woman of science. Um, this time we're reading about Emmy Noether and she's a mathematician and theoretical physicist and she was born in Germany in 1882 and that's her right there. Yeah. <laughs> Same book, right? We're, we have 50 women, so that's a lot of women uh, to, to know, okay? So, well, she created the field of abstract algebra. The Noether theory connects mathematical sum, sum, symmetry to the conservation of energy. She con she's considered one of the most important people in the field of mathematics. And uh, she said, my methods are really methods of working and thinking. This is why they have crept in everywhere anonymously. That's what she said. Okay. Um, Amy Noether was um, born in Germany in 1882. She grew up in a family of mathematicians and wanted to learn like her father and brothers. At the time, it was against the law in Germany for women to get a higher education. So she would sit in the back of the classes at the university, try to learn as much as she could while receiving no credit, no academic credit. For over two years, she audited classes until they finally admitted her as a student. At the University of Erlingen, Emmy lectured unofficially in her father's classrooms and worked without pay or title. She started to make waves in physics community with the half dozen papers she published in her talks abroad. Around 1915, Albert Einstein's team recruited her to the University of Göttingen to help further develop his general theory of relativity. He became a friend who will always defend Emmy. Emmy worked for free for seven years at Göttingen until she finally started getting paid, but she was the lowest paid professor. Despite the lack of recognition, she developed mathematical equations that are still an important part of the way we understand physics now. She produced developments in the field of abstract algebra by proving new concepts about groups and rings. She made her connections between energy and time and angular momentum. In doing all of this, she developed the Noether theory. Because Emmy was Jewish, the rise of the Nazi regime put her life in danger. She was fired from Göttingen for being Jewish, but continued to teach from her apartment in secret. Uh, in 1933, Emmy escaped to America where she was hired to teach at Bryn Mawr College. Again, the same, the women college, remember? I think in other story, other stories. Unfortunately, only 18 months after she began teaching with good pay and a real title, she became ill and died at the age of 53. After her death, Albert Einstein was made sure she would be remembered in 1935 he wrote to the New York Times that Fraulein Noether was the most, sig most significant mathematical genius thus far produced since the higher education of women began. So Frau Noether, yeah. So she, her students were called Noether boys. If I can't, if I don't eat, I can't do mathematics, she said. People would make fun of her weight and appearance. I guess she must have been a little bit chubby. Um, and she was a pacifist despite the persecution she faced in World War II as a Jew. Her father, Max Noether, was also an important mathematician. 
Schools and a moon crater are named after her. Oh, schools and moon crater. No, there. I guess Emmy no there. Um, her ashes were buried at Bryn Mawr. So if you ever go to Bryn Mawr College, I think they have a lot of historic, they have produced very historic, smart women. There. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, until next time. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Mwah!